I didn't go home for Thanksgiving. My dad was nice and booked me a hotel room to drown my sorrows in. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> I think, uh huh. Yes. So you you got plenty of money? Is that what you're saying? That I'm rich? Not rich. <laughs> but you well, if you spontaneously want to book me a hotel at the graduate, just let me know. What? Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Well, how much? Would Sounds good. All right. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> Bye. We'll be lonely together. Oops. Hello. Good night. Really? Does that work? Yeah. For your name. Oh my gosh, yay, thanks. Our own departing 11-20. So cool, thanks. Go through since it's not your name. Good girl, good girl. I am just going to have a night to myself and I'm kind of excited. There's like a rooftop um, bar and like dinner thing which I'm planning on attending. So I'm gonna drink my drink, get a little tipsy first, get ready, and then go to this rooftop thing. But I kinda wanna check it out first and see if there's a lot of bitches because when I was checking in, hella bitches were going upstairs. So I think that we should just go and check it out first. Also, I know these shoes don't go with my outfit. I'm just wearing them because I'm gonna wear them later. Go, 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 I wanna go. Not that busy. Very exciting stuff. Time to shit. I get ready pretty fast. I use this mascara, I've used it for years now. I think it's the best. The Colossal Big Shot Maybelline Volume Express. I'm gonna put this on and then I'll come back when I'm getting ready, like putting on my outfit and about to go upstairs. Hi, okay, so I got ready. I straightened my hair off camera, which is nothing special. I just put on my lip stuff. I use NYX and it's like literally almost out. You can see how tiny it is. Just brown, like it's literally called brown. And then I put this like lip gloss over it and it's called Sugar High. But I put on like the underneath of my outfit, if that makes sense. And I just have to put on about a blazer and then I'm gonna wear sneakers. I didn't try on this outfit before, so I really hope that it looks okay. I don't know if I should wear it like how it is with sneakers or if I should tuck it like a bra top situation and like tuck it into my bra. You wouldn't see the line. Or if I do this. I feel like I should do this. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. And then my shoes. I think I wanna go up until 6.30 cause I wanna drink a little more. I wanna do like a drink with me. I feel like I'm pretty good at like when I am drunk. Like I'm not drunk yet, but when I am drunk, I feel like I'm pretty good at not acting drunk. Like I think that's a good trait that I have, but I'm scared because I'm gonna like go up there alone. Like this is such a test for my social anxiety is like going up there and having dinner by myself. But I always say that I'm always jealous. Like I work at a restaurant and I literally always tell everyone when they like come in alone. I so wish that that could be me. Like I'm so envious. Pretty independent and I spend a lot of time by myself but like, like eating by, by yourself is like a new level. Yes, mm -mm -mm. I feel like this blazer is kind of big, like too big, but it's okay, we're rocking with it. Okay, it's a lot later than I thought it was gonna be when I went to dinner. I wanted to go at 6.30 and 7.14. But I'm scared. Like, low-key, I think I've been making TikToks and taking pictures because I'm scared to go. I just have to do it. I just have to rip off the band-aid. I feel like this is a good exercise for anyone who's watching that also has raging social anxiety. But it's really not that big a deal. I just don't want them to think, like, what's wrong with her? She's eating by herself on Thanksgiving. Maybe I should call my aunt. Maybe I'll call my aunt and <laughs> she'll make me feel better. This is, like, getting first behind the scenes of me and my anxiety. Um, wow. Happy Thanksgiving! Thank you. Yeah. And you all too. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. What are you doing now? So, boy, do I have a story for you. TBH, my aunt didn't make me feel that much better. So, oh, I'm gonna call my brother because he'll give me harsh criticism. <laughs> 
But now I'm anxious because I have to go up alone. Connor, you're literally going to fucking food. Would you do it? It's free food, isn't it? Yeah. Then why the fuck aren't you there? Right. And then just go be you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just needed some encouragement. Of course, man. Okay. All right. Man. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Bye. I'm pussy if I don't go, so I need to go. Okay. 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 Okay, here we go. It's literally two hours later than it was when I said I was gonna go. I said I was gonna go at 6.30, it's 8.30. I had anxiety, I went on my phone, I called my relatives. I did the damn thing. It's huge steps for me right now. The amount of anxiety that I have. Baby girl. I'm gonna stop vlogging and I will vlog when I'm sitting down. This chicken panini. I'm carrying literally so much shit. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm recording myself crying is not because I want a pity party because I absolutely do not but I think it's just normal and real and that people don't show it on the internet but I'm crying <laughs> because I'm just sad like I'm just sad that I'm not home and also basically kind of drunk so that's why I'm crying I think so I'm just laying here I changed into my pajamas I'm just waiting until I feel more chill to go ahead and film the other part of my video which is gonna be like a drink with me we're already drunk, so I could probably film it now. But I'm watching the news, which I <laughs> literally never do. I'm actually learning a lot. Like, this is very intriguing. I can't stop crying. It's like a, <laughs> it's like a good cry, you know? Oh, I just can't stop crying. I need to blow my nose. I really do. I just don't want to get up. I wish I could, like, snap and things could come to me. Okay. You know what? Fuck this. So I had every intention to film a drink with me that was gonna be super exciting. I was gonna be taking shots, and I was gonna be drinking two bottles of wine, and I was gonna be wasted. And that's just not gonna happen. Like, that's just not what's gonna happen. That's not the deal today. So I am already, like, I'm drunk. I've been sad, and I'm not crying anymore, and I'm like, okay, but I don't feel like I have the energy in me, nor do I think it's a good idea to just, like, chug a whole bottle of wine. I'm just gonna answer these questions in this setting, in this bed. But I just can't bring myself to drink any more alcohol. So, first question, everyone. This is from my friend Alex, who's in Japan. He said, why are your eyebrows still in 2003? I want to talk about my eyebrows. These bitches, they're very thin. I've never plucked them. Okay, I, that's a lie. I don't do it regularly. I probably haven't done it in like actually three years. But I've never got them done because they're too thin and they look like the McDonald's sign. But that is my eyebrows. <laughs> Best stores to shop at online. Um, My big thing is basics. If you get a good base steak, it'll last you forever. You can accessorize it. You can dress it up you can dress it down you can buy like cheaper fashion from elsewhere and accessorize it princess polly joa brown has amazing basics zara i'm a whore for zara go through the stores for like a while before you make your purchase that you can narrow it down find pieces that like a lot of people haven't found you haven't seen but yeah who or what inspires your style or aesthetic i think huge aesthetic like or style inspiration has been Hailey bieber been like my style person since i was probably like 16. i like her instagram handle is like black dope like b-l-v-c-k dope anyway she's on instagram she's literally so sick i think she has the sickest style ever like the best style i would say they're my two like fashion icons are you a bottom <laughs> a top or a bottom and then in parentheses they said i say bottom i'm 100 percent a bottom <laughs> nope sorry Sorry, not me wrong bitch advice you would give your younger self just to like chill the fuck out just to be authentically yourself and to not be embarrassed by it or to feel like you need to be a certain way to get along with people because i've really figured out the one thing that you have is yourself if you perceive yourself in a certain way and you act a certain way that is consistent with how you think of yourself that's really all you can ask for um vodka or tequila vodka 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 i think it's because i started drinking very very young dad if you're seeing this i'm sorry this man has no idea my friends would steal liquor from their parents and it was regularly tequila mixed it with anything that we could find and it was the worst thing ever definitely not tequila and 100 drunk or high 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 
Um, if you could have dinner with one celebrity, who would it be? Michael B. Jordan. I want to have dinner with Michael B. Jordan. I just want him to sit across from me. I want him to wine and dine me. I want to look at him. If you had to save one of your roommates, who would it be? Oh my god. Okay, so I feel like Ashley. I'm so sorry, Lexi. But I feel like Ashley. Only because I feel like Lexi could save herself. That bitch is so goddamn independent. I feel as though she could save herself. And I feel like Ashley would need help. Beer or wine? Wine. 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 What's your dream vacation? I like stopped recording, but we're back. I want to go to Greece. I want to go to Greece to die. That's just what I want to do. What's your favorite memory slash story time you had with me? This is Lena. Um, my favorite memory is without a doubt, just about a year ago, me and Lena decided that we were gonna go to Fourth Avenue. It's just like a little bit off campus, and we decided that we were gonna walk there. So we walked like a mile there. I'm under 21. She's under 21. Our IDs get taken. We try and get them back. Then we go to a hookah bar where we think that you have to be 21 and get in. Me and Lena go up to these guys and we're like trying to convince them to like talk to the other bouncer to get our IDs back. We get into this hookah bar, we're sitting down, we're like doing the damn thing, and this guy comes up to us. We're like, not like he's not like creepy or anything, but it's kind of a nuisance. Me and Lena decide to pretend that we're dating. Me and Lena are very much dating at this point. And this guy decides that because we're dating, he's gonna Venmo us money. So it was like this whole excursion. I know it probably doesn't sound that exciting, but if you were there, any, any time with Lena is a good time. So, the hot dog a sandwich? Yeah, I think a hot dog a sandwich, yeah. Um, what's your favorite era of fashion and how do you incorporate it into your style? 90s, like a 90s street style with like just very plain pieces, sneakers and jeans and like a plain shirt or like just earrings. I love how not basic it is like in the sense that it's basic, but basic in the sense that it's very like classic timeless pieces and like baggier clothes as well. Um, what are the odds you buy me a Christmas present? If you buy me one, Dante. What do you appreciate most in life? I just really appreciate energy from people, stories from people, and where they've come from, and lessons, and just like first interactions when you get to really see someone else for like who they are and like absorb their energy. That makes sense. Does this make sense? I hope that that makes sense. What do you like most about the school that you attend, which is U of A? I used to for sure say the people, and I do still like the people. I love my friends. I honestly just think that moving away has given me like an opportunity to do bigger and better things with my life. And I'm like really actually getting into my major now and thinking about like the future and where I want to go with my career. So I think that I really like U of A because it's given me an opportunity to start something new with my life. Moving away has done so much for me, and I really appreciate that. Oh my God, bro. This shit is literally so whack. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm hot and fucking cold. It's whatever time in the morning. 3.33. But I've been like waking up and falling asleep and waking up and falling asleep literally since I went to bed. And I like crashed initially. So I didn't even film like any sort of outro. Off. And I've been hot as shit. I took my fucking clothes and now I'm freezing. I'm like wildly dehydrated. So I had one of those like $5 fucking waters. <sighs> I'm gonna stop pouting. I'm gonna try to go to bed. This is just actually unreal. 5.14, it's 5.14 in the morning and I can't sleep. Now I'm freezing, I have chills all over my body. I've stalked my entire Twitter, like going all the way back to like 2016. I've been up <laughs> since every time that we've talked. I have not fallen back asleep and I just don't feel good. And I feel kind of like maybe I shouldn't be in a hotel room if I don't feel good, you know? Like maybe I should leave and go home, but then I'm also like, my dad paid for this and it's like a present, so like I should stay. But I don't feel good and I feel like guilty being here when I don't feel good and like infesting the place. I wanted to swim in the pool and stuff, so I'm very sad. I definitely need to take some medicine and get the fuck out of here. Literally, how have I made this much of a mess? Hi everyone. So I've been home since whenever we last talked. It's like now two. I came back and I tried to take a bath. It didn't really last though, so just impatient. And then I went to bed. I woke up. I still feel like shit. I called into work because I did have a fever when I came back. I'm like coughing up bad shit and it's just disgusting. So I'm gonna close out this video and thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See ya. Ah! Thank you.